Okay, so I'm here to talk about gelatin again and what I've learned in the last month. I did a talk here a couple of months ago on what I learned about gelatin. I brought along some gelatin I put in water to show you how strong it is and durable. And I found out about it with a video by Dr. Joel Wallach where he explained how the Harvard Medical School had a test, had an experiment where they took 60 patients, gave 30 of them an ounce of gelatin every day, the other 30 got nothing. The 30 who got the gelatin all got better and they all needed you know, joint replacement surgery. The 30 who didn't all got worse. Now that impresses me. Now, I told a buddy about it and I said, you've got to give this a try because he's always complaining about his sore knees and agony and can't walk and stuff like that. Well, it's interesting because after five days, he was sitting in front of me going, look, 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 it's a miracle. And I'm going, well, sorry, if you hadn't reacted positively, compared to the 30 out of 30 who did, you would have been an outlier, statistically. I expected you to get better, but within five days, he's cheering about how his knee is better. Now, that I expected. I didn't know how it worked until recently. But in the meantime, same guy has got asthma, he's got um, gluten, uh, gluten intolerance, he's got allergies, you know, always sickly. And we found out that, I heard about the gluten intolerance and I watched a video on it and a guy explained how that when they, basically the gluten is a large molecule that gets through the intestinal wall into the blood system. That's just one of the big molecules that can get in the blood system through the intestinal wall, through the villi, and can then cause autoimmune disease. You throw garbage into the bloodstream, the body's got to put up a fight. You put garbage in the bloodstream full time, the body's fighting full time. And all sorts of different immunities and allergies can be caused by whatever molecules get through the intestinal wall. That's why leaky gut is so important. It's the leaky gut that lets all these pathogens get into the bloodstream to prompt the autoimmune response. Now, he said for some reason, gelatin has a beneficial effect on reducing the permeability of the intestinal wall. Wow! Well, how'd you do that? Well, I thought about it for a while. Then, I looked at the other stuff. Now we're talking about how does the gelatin rebuild bone? How is it? I can accept this stuff can make cartilage. You just got to wet it for a while and it'll become soft and malleable. But if it's properly dehydrated, it's like rock. So, how does this make bone? It doesn't. What it is, it's the mortar. You want to go build yourself a structure? Use all the bricks you want. Without any mortar, I'll kick it over, right? Imagine now, since our grandparents stopped eating bone soup, or our parents did, since we moved into a high-tech culture where we can chop off the bones, throw them away, eat the good meat, we're not getting any of the gelatin that our grandparents used to get when they ate the whole thing. Now, what happened? Did they suffer gluten intolerance? Anybody ever have a grandparent with gluten intolerance? What's happening here? Well, the gelatin coats the inner intestine to reduce permeability. It's a mechanical engineering solution. The holes have been made too big by whatever drugs, antibiotics, vaccinations, whatever. Imagine if those kids with autism who are all like this all day over their stomachs, they're suffering from the leaky gut. Now, if this, if the mortar can plug the holes and reduce the permeability, it could be a panacea, a mechanical engineering panacea for all sorts of autoimmune diseases. Now back to arthritis for a minute. Now what it does is, the calcium is needed to make the bone. 
but the calcium bricks need mortar to hold it together. And the gelatin provides a lattice. Well, that's what they say, but I just say, imagine that, you know, as the calcium bumps into the bone area, there's, there's mortar there to stick with it. And, uh, and that's basically what's happening. So, if my guy, within five days, is sitting there going, look, 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 I'm saying, what happened to the doctors at the Harvard Medical ex Experiment with the 30 guys who maybe after five days were going, look, look, look? If this is the mortar necessary to rebuild the bone, if this is the gelatin necessary to rebuild the cartilage, if this is the gelatin necessary to rebuild the myelin sheaths around the nerves which cause MS, Wow, and it all comes back to leaky gut. If you put in enough animal gelatin, which has some of the greatest building amino acids, lysine, glutamine, and another one, the point is, this is pure animal good stuff. And it works in us like it did in them. So, when they talk about reduced gut permeability, they're talking plug in the holes. And if this stuff can coat the intestinal wall, strengthen it up, the villi inside strengthen them up, well that may explain why the permeability is reduced. And I can tell you now, this guy with the gluten intolerance, with the asthma and the allergies, in the last two weeks, he hasn't been suffering at all. Okay? So, I know for days on end he would lie in bed, never get up, you know what I mean? Always sickly. But since he started on his, he's doing more than one ounce a day. I'd say he's doing an ounce and a half in his smoothies. Just mix it in any cold drink and it's easy to digest. And that might be the bane of the vegans because he went vegan for a while. And he was stuffing in all this good food and it wasn't helping him. What was wrong? Too much of the bad stuff and the big stuff was getting through. And the body is not properly digesting the nutrients if they're getting in there undigested. Now the immune system's got to attack the big pieces. In different areas it might cause different reactions. So all of that stuff seems to have stopped when he started his ounce of gelatin a day. So now he's swinging his knees around, walking upstairs rather confidently and surprised that he's going to get a bike to strengthen up his legs, but in the meantime, he's not lying in bed all day, you know, sickly and weak and not. It seems that this does enough for the stomach and the intestines, while providing nutritious value as well, to solve his intestinal problems, his allergic problems, and his gluten. When he hasn't touched the gluten, he's not going to gamble until he's got a lot of coating before he tries again. But nevertheless, He's now looking a lot healthier and stronger with only 50 cents worth of gelatin a day. Now, so that was an amazing thing. So anyway, here's an example where I've watched the guy happen and I see that this simple animal byproduct that can help the vegans too. It might be the argument that shoots down veganism saying you need this animal gelatin. You got nowhere else. You got a few plants, might give you some, but not like a, you know, eating an animal, okay? So, if this is why our grandparents didn't have all these autoimmune diseases, didn't have the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the tolerance to uh, gluten, why? Because they were getting the right amount of gelatin. And this is one of the rare medical failures that was not done by conspiracy. Fluoride, they're poisoning us on purpose. Aspartame, on purpose. Vaccinations, on purpose. But gelatin deficiency syndrome? That just happened as a normal function of us being able, able to afford only the meat. And the last thing he found out was bone broth not only gives you the gelatin, but an incredible number of nutrients as well which is why it has such incredible results. So, I advise everybody now, he used to live in Korea where everybody had bone broth all the time, never had sickness over there, but when he got here, wham! So, bone broth is a great source of gelatin 
but nothing can beat sticking in an ounce in your smoothie and watching what happened. And what happened to him with his knees is exactly what I would have expected given the 100% return at the Harvard Medical School. And I was happy to sit here and say, hey, there's one buddy whose knees I helped.